What is up, my people? It's Marshall from Holix here. Cyberpunk is finally here, y'all, and it drops tomorrow. And we are really excited to start playing it, and I'm hoping that it lives up to the massive, massive hype it has been able to build up until now. And before you even start playing the game, you are given a very important decision to make, and that's which life path will you choose to play as. So the game developer CD Projekt Red has a lot of information on their website about each of the three paths. So we are going to give you a quick guide so that crucial decision will be much easier to make. And I'll also let you know which path sounds the best to me as well. Now, also, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like. It truly helps our channel grow and consider subscribing if you're new here because we'll be covering Cyberpunk extensively and we just got a PS5 finally. So we'll have PS5 gameplay as well. Now, let's go ahead and jump into it. The life path you choose will define your experience for the entire game. At least that's how it's described on the website. So will you be Mark Zuckerberg, a street kid, or a nomad? One important thing to know is that each path will have many unique choices in every major quest line. So let's start with the corporate path or corpo for short. So with this, you'll start off working for a company called Arasaka in the city center district and if this game was called Cyberpunk 2020, then you'd be working for um, Amazon, just in case you wanted to frame a reference. So in this life path, you're already wealthy and you'll do anything to maintain it. And it kind of seems like you've already sold your soul to climb the corporate ladder of this like mega corporation. So when things go south and your life falls apart, you're up against one of the city's biggest threats with it, which is that same corporation. Luckily, you know the system of mass surveillance in and out and can hold your own on the streets despite that corporate life. So why should you play as a corpo? Well, they are rumored to have a unique romance option that no other path has. And I couldn't find a lot of information on this, so I'm not sure what all that entails. But they also have connections to the most powerful people and corporations in the city. So just imagine being able to call Oprah or Elon Musk like whenever you wanted to to talk about anything. Next up is the Nomad. Now Nomad V is from the Badlands, which is the only starting location outside of the Night City walls. With this life path, you'll have unique knowledge of gangs, cars, and equipment, which will all be especially important to you as you make your way into and around Night City. And even though you are not from the city, you have a close relationship with the security wing. So you're familiar with how things work and can bypass the city's uh, massive influence. Now, one of the things I find most interesting about the Nomad is that they value honesty and integrity, which are things we need more of in cyberpunk and in real life, of course. Now, why should you play as a Nomad? They provide the only starting location outside of Night City. And anytime you run into another nomad, it'll be like running into a family member because they are really close knit. And finally, there is the street kid life path. And from what I've seen online, this seems to be the most popular option of the three and Corpo coming in second. As a street kid, you grew up in Haywood and this is where you'll start. This life path it is the ultimate insider because you know the Night City streets gangs and black market like the back of your hand basically your knowledge as a street kid will be key in navigating the city but it won't work the same when dealing with corpos and people in higher positions like that because you've tried to avoid those type of people basically your whole life so why should you play as a street kid out of all of the life paths you'll have the most knowledge of night city using this one and you'll know the ins and outs as well as the social hierarchy now, just to be clear though, no life path is superior to the other based on what I've been researching. It really comes down to play style and personal preference. So you definitely can't make a wrong decision here. And you'll also have the ability to change your path during the campaign. So even if you start as a corpo, you can actually change to a nomad if you wanted to and vice versa. And that happens at some point during the campaign. But one thing to keep in mind, you'll actually receive more rewards if you choose one path and stay with it throughout the entire storyline. So definitely keep that in mind when you're playing. So I want to know which life path you think is the best. 
And which one will you choose? So are you thinking Corpo, Nomad, or the Street Kid for your first playthrough? Let me know in the comments below. So for me, the life path decision was easy once I read each description. And do y'all wanna guess which one I'll be? I really wanna see if y'all can get this one right. So the answer is Nomad for me, definitely Nomad. One thing that really stood out to me about the Nomad is that they can't be bought. I'm the same way in real life, like money is simply a tool for me and not worth selling my soul or other people to get more of it. And also their qualities of honesty and integrity are things that I value and are really unique to the majority of people in the game. And I mean real life if we're being honest. So and even the starting location is different from the other two life paths. So to me, the Nomad is the best option just for me to play as and the one that I'll be starting with. Now, if you've made it to the part of this video, thank you so much and I really appreciate you watching. Now we have some great cyberpunk videos in the pipeline, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thank you and we'll catch you in the next one.